Hello there, this video includes tips for buying a used car. So, is the car you might buy fighting fit or falling apart? Are there enormous bills just around the corner? The MOT history helps answer these questions and I'll show you what to look for. Ah. Welcome to Car Spy TV. Right, let's take a moment to recap the basics so these tips for buying a used car are most beneficial. MOT history is a record of professional inspection. Typically, by law, MOT inspection is required once a car reaches three years old, then annually thereafter. It establishes whether or not it meets the minimum safety and environmental standards, and therefore whether or not it's allowed on the road. MOT history is therefore a fantastic resource. For every inspection, it confirms whether the car passed without comment, passed but with advisory comments that suggest work is required in the near future, or failed because there was a serious fault. So, tips for buying a used car. MOT history gives us an overall feel. Is the car in good condition? Is it in terrible condition? Is there a lot of likely short-term expenditure? Let's use this 2013 Ford Fiesta as an example. The government has a website that enables us to check its MOT history at no cost. So, navigate directly to this address or search for the site via Google. To get started, simply enter the car's registration number. I'm concealing part of the registration to protect the seller's privacy. Next, click MOT History. All the inspections are now listed chronologically, so let's scroll to the bottom of the page to see the oldest first, then work forward. Note that the first inspection was on November 23rd, 2016, three years after the car was registered. Note too that the vehicle passed inspection and there were no advisories. That's as good as it gets. Next, November 27th, 2017, which was one year later. Again, the car passed, but this time there were advisories. The front tyres were close to the legal limit. The question we need to ask now is have the front tyres been replaced? If not, that cost might fall to us if we buy the car. So, let's look further ahead for evidence. Next, November 8th, 2018, one year later. Again, the car passed inspection, but this time there were no advisories for the front tyres or indeed for anything else. This suggests the front tyres were replaced the previous year. That's encouraging. Next, November 21st, 2019, one year later. Again, the car passed inspection, but there was a new advisory. There was slight play in one of the track rod and ball joints. This is the current MOT, so we can't now look ahead for any evidence that implies the part's been replaced. It might have been, but there's nothing here to suggest it. So, based purely on the information we have here, it's reasonable to conclude that we might have to get a new ball joint if we buy the car. It's important to recognise that potential expense. Furthermore, note that the current MOT expires on November 28, 2020. That's far, far into the future at the time of filming. Good, this means there's no need to pay for an inspection soon. That's money saved for now. Also, as the car was inspected recently, there hasn't been much time for it to deteriorate, so the MOT result is probably still an accurate reflection of its current condition. Had the inspection been, say, nearly a year ago, there would have been more time for there to be notable changes. There are further tips for buying a used car. It's important to consider whether the mileage is genuine. In other words, has the vehicle travelled the distance stated on the odometer or has someone wound the mileage back to fraudulently increase the sale price? To check the Ford Fiesta's mileage properly, we need far more than the MOT history and that goes beyond the remit of this video. So, I'll talk about mileage discrepancies more in detail another time. However, for now, at least notice that there's nothing in the MOT history that suggests the mileage has been wound back. For example, it shows that the mileage increased year on year. It never fell. Also, the car's advert says it's covered 26,500 miles, which is a few more than was recorded at the MOT a few weeks ago. That, of course, is fine. You expect the mileage to increase. What would be suspicious is if the car's advert said it had covered fewer miles than was recorded at the last MOT. Finally, the front tyre advisories came at 20,622 miles. That's a reasonable lifespan. In contrast, I'd be suspicious if the tyres were heavily worn at only 5,000 miles. They should last far longer. So, let's take an overview. 
The Ford Fiesta passed every MOT and the only advisories were for tyres that were probably replaced at the time and for a ball joint that, even if it hasn't been replaced, is cheap to fix now. So, there's nothing that implies a lot of short-term expenditure. There's also nothing to suggest a mileage discrepancy, although as I said earlier, we need a lot more information to be confident about that. Overall then, there's nothing in the MOT history that suggests we should run away from this car. Good stuff. Right, let's consider a more problematic car. This Jaguar XJ passed its most recent MOT, but there were advisories because of rust. In fact, looking back through the entire history, we can see it failed inspection on multiple occasions and had endless advisories, many of which were caused by corrosion. There's been serious corrosion on the chassis, the floor, even the seatbelt mounts, all the suspension springs and the brake hoses. And I've barely scratched the surface of this car's problems. Look, for example, at 2017. So, even though this car has an MOT, and even though it looks nice sitting on the seller's forecourt, the MOT history implies it's a money pit. There's a lot of predictable future expense. Once rust gets this serious, you'll always be chasing it. I wouldn't touch this car with a 10-foot cattle prod. We have a few final points to consider. MOT history does not categorically prove whether a car is likely to be reliable. For example, it does not cover the engine, gearbox or clutch. These parts might be about to explode, that won't stop the car passing inspection. So, tips for buying a used car. MOT history gives you an awful lot of information, but not the entire picture. And that's about it. That's tips for buying a used car. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content, click the notification bell so you're informed when I release it, and do me a favour and click like on this video. Right, that's all for now. Oh no. My car's do its MOT.